Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Riverside Resources, Inc., John Mark Stoddy. How are you doing today, John Mark? Rich, great to be on your show and really excited about our news. I'm very excited to have you back on the show again and very excited about your news as well. I want to bring everyone's attention to your symbols first and foremost. Riverside Resources, Inc. in Canada under the symbol RRI, in America under the symbol RVSDF. And that rolls right into my first question. John Mark, once again, great to have you back on the show and some exciting stuff happening with Riverside Resources. You guys had some big news today. You received a US 2.5 million cash payment and retain a 2% NSR royalty for the sale of the Tejidos Gold Project to Fresnillo PLC. Can you tell us about this and what it means for the company? You know, it's really great. And yes, this is something to work with Fresnillo. Fresnillo is one of Mexico's three largest mining corporations. Fresnillo has gone for over 100 years. Riverside, we've been going for 15 years. And one of the lead assets is our Tajitos Gold Project. Our Tajitos Project and the tenure that we sold to Fresnillo is inside their future mine. To be have the key tenure inside of a future mine and Riverside to keep a 2% royalty is huge. On top of that, getting two and a half million cash and being able to fully get this project moving ahead is great for Riverside shareholders. A few years ago, I said, this is what we saw as a value. And then I came on your show and said, this is one of the catalysts. So today to deliver that is great for Riverside shareholders. And it's one of the few things that we have going forward. And we're very excited about this. We're in a great position. And this with Fresnillo is a really great step for Riverside shareholders. Congratulations. This is huge. Now, can you tell us how much the company has in total as far as cash in the bank and also how the company has no outstanding warrants? So what that means for shareholders that are watching? You know, it's really special. Riverside has been very well structured. We have Canadian over $8 million cash. We have wow. another one and a half million on top of that. That's being spent by partner right now by BHP, the world's largest mining company. So if you look at our balance sheet today, we have actually almost close to 10 million Canadian in the bank. Wow. Just the $8 million Canadian in the bank would be the equivalent because we have only 75 million shares, over 10 cents a share just in cash in Riverside, plus the royalties we have, plus the other things we have, Riverside's in a great position. Then you ask about warrants. Riverside has not had to finance. Riverside has not gotten that money from financing. Riverside has gotten that money through transactions like this, where we have ongoingly sold shares, sold the, of our partnered companies, where we have been able to get ownership, ownership positions and keep a royalty. So Riverside has no warrants, has a good share structure and a really good cash position. We're very excited about 2023. That's great. 75 million shares is fantastic. $10 million in cash is great. Considering where you guys are priced, I feel this is extremely undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. Now, with the company so well funded, what are the three biggest goals that you have for 2023? I think first off is another big deal. Riverside works for the world's large mining company, BHP, doing copper exploration. And imagine the future in 2023, if we could do that with another giant company, that would be huge. That again, shows shareholders that Riverside is quality. Riverside has been able to do seven strategic alliances. And if we could announce an eighth strategic alliance, that would be great. I think a second thing is Canada. Riverside in 2022 did drilling. We hit gold at our Oaks project in Ontario. And in 2023, I see us progressing with more results on large gold systems. And that's only 25 kilometers immediately to the east of what will be Canada's next third largest gold producer in the country, wow. the Geraldton Gold Belt. So for us, our Oaks project is a huge catalyst in 2023. And the last thing is precious metals in Mexico. 
Riverside has a very nice Union Gold project. And I see that for 2023, more exploration results. So we have three excellent catalysts coming. And I think all of those are in the first half of 2023. Now, can you tell us how many total royalties Riverside Resources possesses now with today's news? You know, that's excellent. And really, we talk about three key ones. We actually have a whole series of over 10 different projects and different things we have going in Riverside, but three key value driver royalties. The Tahitos royalty right here is excellent. And that's great. That's a 2%. As well, we have 2% on Sugarloaf Peak Gold Project. That's a historic non-compliant over 1 million ounces of gold in the company Arizona Metals Corp, which was recently trading at almost $300 million market cap in Riverside, having a 2% royalty on the Sugarloaf Peak. And the third is on Capitan Mining. That's the Cruz de Plata project. And we're very excited to have a royalty on that. And that's something that we dividended to our shareholders, the ownership in the company. We spun out the company and Riverside kept a royalty. So of all the royalties we have, those three are catalysts and value that I really see makes a great ownership position in Riverside, something that's valuable to own. Now, is there anything else you would want investors to know about Riverside Resources Inc. today? I think Riverside is focused. And I think some people say, well, Riverside has so many things going. Are you a royalty company? Are you a joint venture company? Are you an exploration company? I would say Riverside is hybrid. Riverside is value. Riverside myself, I'm a large shareholder. I founded the company. I've never sold a share. Tomorrow, I can start to buy more shares. I could not buy shares for the last month because we've been trying to close this deal and we never wanted to trade on knowledge that we knew was great value. So now I can buy more shares myself and I'm really excited. I think that you can look at Riverside and look at John Mark. I've continually bought shares. And so if you want to know one thing, you could see we are focused. I'm not an officer or a director of a lot of other things, really focused here for our shareholders. And I really see that we're deeply undervalued with a large cash position nothing really going bad in the company and catalyst going forward. So really excited about Riverside. We've been working at it for 15 years and we're in a great position here, yet we've been trading at our 15 year low and we're in a great position. We have all these things going. So I see here's value and I'm really excited. You'll see me buying more shares. What is the best way for investors to get in touch with the company if they have any questions about Riverside Resources Inc.? You know, really, please come to our website. That's R-I-V-R-E-S dot com. It's super easy to email us. Also, we have an 800 phone number. Also, we're on Twitter and other social media. We really welcome reaching out to us. Give us a call. Pick up the phone. We'd love to talk to you. Just openly discuss what we have in the future that Riverside sees, which I see is really positive. Really excited to have you back on the show. Now, I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss. Now, in saying that, I do believe based on everything that we've talked about and all the big news that's happening and the share structure, that this company is greatly undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. Please put it on your radar and on your watch list. Once again, the symbol in Canada, RRI in America, RVSDF. And thank you for joining today, the CEO of Riverside Resources, Inc., John Mark Stoddy. John Mark, love to have you back on the show and thank you for joining us today. Love to be back on the show and give you an update about more results with Riverside Resources. Thank you for your time. Keep up the great work. And for those of you guys that are watching, if you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners, we bring in the news, CEO interviews, analysis, and we bring it to you first. Thank you for watching, everybody. This is Rich from Rich to be Live with John Mark Stoudy, the CEO of Riverside Resources, Inc., saying, have a nice day. We'll see you soon. Oh,